Welcome to Maths Minute. This is a segment dedicated to the Make Noise Maths. Today, we will be showing you how to use maths as an envelope follower as shown in the Maths Manual. To start out with, let's talk about the patch. We're going to be feeding a drum loop into our maths here at channel 1. That drum loop is then going to be creating an envelope from within the maths and going to be output here at channel 1 in the positive and negative variety, but it's also going to be output at the OR input here in your standard envelope follower positive only variety. We'll be able to adjust the response of our envelope follower here at the fall parameter of the maths. And in some cases, if you need additional attenuation, you can patch the signal to channel two of the maths or channel 3, and then add additional gain found here. We'll then be taking that envelope and feeding it over into our model 15, right over here, the 1 volt per octave input, and we're just going to be modulating the pitch of our model 15. So to start out with, let's hear what our drum loop sounds like. And there is our drum loop. That's going to be creating an envelope, which is then going to modulate the pitch of our model 15. So you can kind of hear the rhythmic aspect of that loop. Okay, now let's hear what's going to receive that modulation source dry. Okay, so this is going to be modulated by the maths. So let's leave that patched and get our clock ready. And let's go. So we're going to patch into the input of our mass right here. We can see that there's already activity coming in here. Our signal is uh, generating an envelope. And now let's take a patch cable and go out. Let's start with the positive or output and go to the pitch of our model 15. So you can hear now that an envelope is being created and then in turn modulating the pitch over here. If I want to adjust the response, I can change this, make it less sensitive, or make it more sensitive. Or, sorry, the other way around. Now, if I want to hear the positive and negative, I patch it in there. And then I can hear the positive and negative variety of our envelope follower. And that, in a nutshell, is how you can use mass as an envelope follower. Thanks for watching.